Hey, how's it going guys? Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Thanks for stopping by. Glad to see you. And Buddy is looking amazing. Look at that guy. Good to see him out and about. I hadn't seen him in about two days. He got over in the corner there and got some smudges on him. And off of uh, the, uh, the tire jack, which is over in the corner over here. He got up against it and got some oil and grease on him, but I cleaned him up with a wet wipe and I think he's good now. And then I covered uh, that jack up better so just in case he gets back over there on it. Gotta look out for Buddy because he does not mind getting dirty. So let's get right into it. As uh, the title of the video says, I'm not sure how I'll title it just yet, but it's gonna have to do with something about is van life worth it? Is it worth the trade-off? That kind of thing. Well, the short answer is yeah, in my opinion. So I'll get that out of the way just in case you're busy and you got to go. But um, the short answer is yes. But I want to gear this video toward new people. I'm new. I'm coming up on month number five. I went through the entire winter. Did fine. But let me tell you something. Summer is a different animal and I want you to be successful and I want you to be able to do this long term if that's if that's your endeavor my endeavor is to do it long term however um, you know I was going back and I was watching some of Bob Wells videos this guy's been living in a van for what 10 years I don't know what he said something like 10 years well this is how he does it he moves with the weather. And if you're like most of us, you can't just crank up and move with the weather. You know, you gotta stay in town for your, uh, you have uh, responsibilities in your town, your, in your city, either it's your job or maybe your kids or your family or whatever. You can't just crank up and leave when it gets hot and go up on a mountain uh, uh, 500 miles away, you know. So let's be real about some things, and I want you to know, before you get into it, summer is brutal. Last week was great. It's June 16th now. So we're into it. You know, in Nashville, Tennessee, from June to mid-October, is it, it's hot. You know, it's, it's just the way it is. I mean, it's not as hot as Texas. You know, Texas, oh my gosh, I hope nobody's van dwelling from Texas. If you're, if you're seeing me from Texas right now, let me know, you know, because I feel for you. Good grief. But that's, that's the only way I can see doing it long term, is you're able to move with the weather. If you're not, I'll give you the best advice I've got, which is not much, but I'll give you what I got. Don't be in the van from 10 a.m. to 6.30, 7 p.m. Be out doing something else. Go to the park, go to the mall where it's air-conditioned. And uh, uh, I'm sunburned as I can be right now because I've been out and about every day, just right out there in the sun. You know, so tomorrow I go to work, so at least I'll have something to do all day. And I worked yesterday, so that was good. Today, however, I'm right out there, I'm at the park, I'm at the river, I'm at uh, walking around. I did go meet a friend of mine. Yes, I have a couple of good friends left, that's about it. That's another subject we'll get into right after I finish this. We watched the golf tournament, the uh, US Open is on right now. And uh, we just went to a sports pub, you know, hung out in the air conditioning and uh, had, had some food and just chill there for a couple of hours and that was good but you know you got to keep your cool in the summer the best you can last night was hot I didn't sleep very well I dozed off about every 30 minutes or 45 minutes I would wake up for a few minutes yeah it was not good and in the summer in this region You've got to plan to not even think about going to bed until like 11 p.m., maybe 12, because it doesn't cool down enough to even sleep, even with your fans going. So hopefully you have a job that doesn't require you to be to work before, what, 8 in the morning, so you can at least get some sleep in. 
Uh, luckily, in my job, I can start anywhere between 7 and 10 a.m. Doesn't matter. But I have to work until my jobs are done, whether that's 5 p.m. or 9 p.m. Got to work until they're done. That's the way it is. That's what I signed up for. That's the way I knew it was going to be. You work until all your appointments are done. And uh, the winter, though, is great. You can go to bed at, you know, it gets dark at 5 p.m. You can go to bed 8 or 9, get up 5, 6 in the morning. It's fantastic. Summer is a different animal. All right, so let's go back to the other subject. <clears throat> I said that I got a couple of friends left, and that's about it. Some days I feel like I don't have any friends. But uh, every now and then, I have... Uh, well, the reason for that is, you know, I talked about this about a month or two ago. Van life's just too weird for most people. At first, they're, they're, they're accepting of it, about half the people. The other half, they're done with you as soon as you say anything about living in a van. They're done. They're not going to talk to you. The other half, they dwindle away over time. And, you know, I'm an adult. I'm a grown man. I, that's just the way it goes. But at least I've got the one or two left that, you know, we're on the same page uh, mentally about what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm trying to accomplish the most freedom and build the nest egg quickest that I can without having to pay rent and utilities. And that's the, that's the gist of it. And the adventure factor. I do love the adventure factor. But, you know, most people... Even when you're gung-ho and you're excited about your new endeavor of van life, well, I got news for you. Most of your friends and family are not going to be that excited about it. They're going to think you're a little kooky. Okay? That's just the way it goes. So be prepared for that also. And I hope this is information that's useful to you. Because this video is geared toward people that are starting out in this this uh, lifestyle you know I'm new myself uh, it um, let's see it'll be five months and what about a week so yeah that's new I'm a novice at this whole thing but you know you don't have to be living in a van for years before you give out some tidbits of information that you you think was going to be helpful so let's talk about another thing, uh, longevity. How long do you think you're going to live in a van? Well, as I've said from day one, I am committed to a year. And I do not like to back out on my word. So I'm committed. Unless something terrible happens, I'm committed to at least a year. And then after that, you know, yeah, probably continue on doing it. I don't see why not. I really enjoy not having to pay rent and utilities. It is a wonderful thing. At the end of the month, and you know, you go through the inconveniences of hot weather and it's uncomfortable, but when you don't have to write that $1,200 check or $1,500, depending on where you're at and what your rent is or what your mortgage is, um, I know people with mortgages uh, at 2500 a month. You know, I don't know what kind of money you got to make to uh, qualify for that, but geez, you know, around 1200 a month is all I'm comfortable with. And, I, and then it turns out I wasn't comfortable with it or I wouldn't have moved into a van. So I hope you find this somewhat useful. I'm trying to cover as much as I can. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. We're coming up on nine and a half already. I'm sorry that I take up so much of your time. But uh, I'm going to continue because I'm sure there's a few of you maybe just listen to this in the background while you're doing other things. So I may run over 10 minutes on this one. So um, I was looking back at some of Bob Wells' videos. And I'm thinking, you know, this guy has lived in a van for what, 10 years now? I think that's what he said. And how does he do it? Well, let me get my light going. He, he moves with the weather. That is a 
critical point in van life. And when you're, you don't have that luxury, like I don't have it, I can't just crank up and drive up top of a mountain, you know, and live through the summertime where it's 78 degrees every day. Can't do that. But that's what he's been able to do. And that's why he has, uh, has, uh, done it so long, you know, and I was thinking, you know, what is the, uh, what is the common or the most uh, time frame that people live in a van? I'm thinking it's probably going to be about a year. And then they're going to move on and do other things, maybe tiny homes or just go back into your traditional lifestyles or whatever. But I want to stretch this out as far as I can. And the only thing I can see right now that is my biggest obstacle is the heat the heat of the summer other than that parking those are the two other than those two obstacles man am I happy other than those two things you know but they're big they are big hurdles to get over once you get your parking situated that's gonna be your first hurdle and then the temperature but I don't want to be um, I don't want to be someone that steers you away from this I want you to do it I want you to be as successful or more successful than I have so far I think uh, in in the big picture I've been pretty good about this van life thing <coughs> Uh, I've had some issues, you know. If you watch the other videos, I've had all sorts of things happen to me. Sorts of things that uh, have uh, kind of dampened down my enthusiasm. But, you know, at the end of the day, when I lay down in the bed at night, <coughs> if it's not so 85 degrees at night, but on a nice night, I... You know, I lay in the bed, and man, I feel good. I feel really good. I don't worry as much as I used to, even though I do have some situations going on that I'm worried about. But my goodness, compared to uh, a year ago, <coughs> pardon me, yeah, my worry is, is down at least 50%. My anxiety is down at least 50%. So, absolutely, so happy with my decision to go full-time van life. Um, can't express that enough, you know. But I just want you to know these things. Um, things I was unaware of about the main thing, main two things, parking and the hot temperatures. I had a little bit of an idea. I don't want to say I wasn't aware of it. Like, I didn't go into this total na uh, naivete. But, I was not... I, I guess I focused on everybody's uh, wonderful happiness in the van. And I didn't focus on uh, mundane daily things. You know, so I want you to know about it. I want you to prepare for it. And uh, do the best you can. And man, I want to see you, uh, you know, fulfill if it's your dream or if it's your necessity. I don't care. Either way, I want to see you succeed at it. And, you know, and I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you. So... Gosh, I have gone so long on this video. Sorry to take up so much of your time, but hopefully you had other things to do while you listen to this in the background. And uh, we'll wrap it up here. That guy right there says, hey, can't you hear him? <laughs> and I say, hey, too. Be well. Click the bell. Bye.